Hello everyone, I'm Brian Thompson, Divisional General Manager of PTC's core CAD and engineering calculations businesses. You might have seen me around YouTube over the past year, or maybe you heard my personal engineering calculations horror story from last year's conference. Well, I'm happy to be back again this year for our annual MathCAD virtual conference, and I'd like to briefly share my views on the state of MathCAD before today's fantastic group of speakers and guests begin. First of all, MathCAD is just an awesome product. It's easy to use, it has natural math notation, and with consistent units throughout. It's a comprehensive product with great engineering documentation capabilities that capture IP and can be reused and leveraged across your entire organization. It also can solve complex problems. Now, sometimes there's a bit of a misconception that MathCAD isn't able to solve complex engineering problems. Don't be fooled. It's got tremendous breadth and depth in its math library that enables incredibly complex problem solving all while maintaining the natural math notation throughout the entire product. Now, we've recently ended the sale of legacy versions of MathCAD. You've probably heard that. And let me assure you, we've been working hard in allocating significant resources to making MathCAD Prime meet your standards. We understand the importance of closing those gaps, and so with each release, we close more and more gaps to that MathCAD 15 product, and as we close them, we're often adding new features to MathCAD Prime with expanded functionality of what was available previously with MathCAD 15. Over the last couple of releases, we've reintroduced important features like drop-down lists, warnings, and taking partial derivatives of functions. Now, as I alluded to a moment ago, many times we add new features with additional scope, and that's exactly what we did with the drop-down list by incorporating units into that feature. As we close gaps with each release, the fidelity of the conversion process also improves. It's still not perfect, but we will continue to improve it. I should also mention that in addition to closing gaps, we did a tremendous amount of work to integrate a new Symbolics engine into MathCAD, which gives us flexibility to respond to enhancement requests that, from all of you to make it better than it's ever been before. You're gonna hear more about new Symbolic engine improvements later in this conference. Now, looking ahead, we'll continue to invest in MathCAD Prime and prioritize the features that you need. And you'll hear more about our future plans in today's roadmap session presented by Annie McGuff, our MathCAD product manager. Remember, MathCAD is the best choice for your engineering calculations. It's still the leader in units intelligence. Others are trying to duplicate what we've done there, but you know, they're still very, very far behind. We're still the leader in core natural math notation with our state-of-the-art equation editor. We're still the leader in ease of use and creating comprehensive engineering documents. Engineering math documents look more professional and natural in MathCAD than anything you can create in any other software. I'd like to thank you today for joining us and enjoy the conference.